Hi, my name is Dave, and I'm a member of the Profile Development Team here at Intuit. In this video, I'm going to walk through some of the basic functionality of Profile's Client Explorer. To enable Client Explorer in Profile, choose Options, select Database, and choose the Use Client Explorer button. Notice that the icon for Client Explorer in my Profile Toolbar has now become active. Clicking the button will launch the Client Explorer. Client Explorer presents a consolidated view of all of my clients. In this single view, I can see all of my clients for T1, T2, T3, and FX for all tax years. Across the top of the view, there's a tab strip containing letters. Clicking on the D will show only those clients whose last name begins with D, or in the case of a corporation, the business name begins with D. I also have a number of different options to search for clients. I can search by business number, client name, client reference number, social insurance number, or trust number. For example, if I'm looking for a client named Mark, I can type Mark in the search box, click search, and see all of the clients named Mark. To clear my search, and once again see all of my clients, I select clear and go back to the letter strip for all clients. The checkboxes beside each file name give me the option to select multiple files for batch processing. They also enable me to select the file and see some additional details. For example, if I select Giselle and I hit my spacebar on my keyboard, I can see that her client status is work in process. On the left hand side, I've also got a screen that shows me some of the client details. I can see her social insurance number, her home address, and her home phone number. If I right click in this client details box, I have the option to modify those client details, which lets me choose exactly what I want to see. I have a number of different options about the client herself, but with the drop down at the top I can also choose a particular tax module and see some extra personal information from the tax file. I can even select the T1 jacket, T1 schedules or invoice, and choose specific fields from the tax return. In this case, I've selected line 150 for total income. When I click OK, if I continue to scroll down in this box, I can see Giselle's total income. Immediately above the client details box, I have options to open files, carry forward files, build e-file, print files, or print specific forms within the files that I've selected. These options work as long as I've selected files that are from the same module. To facilitate working with a large number of files, Client Explorer provides customizable views. Some views are provided by default. For example, the T1 Carry Forward to Current Year view. Using the Filter button in Client Explorer, I also have the option to define my own views. By default, everything here is selected, but I can right-click, select Clear All, and then select only the years that I would like to see. For example, if I only want to see my 2009 T1 clients in this particular view, I select T1 2009 and then turn off the T2, T3, and FX files. When I click Apply Filters and close the Filters dialog, I've now got a view that shows only those T1 2009 clients. Using the Save View button, I can save this view so I can easily access it at a later date. Having saved the view, it now appears in the View drop-down box. This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for choosing Profile.
For more information, visit us at profile.intuit.ca.